This is Riley Harrington from Camara Labs, and I'll be showing you Tableau on HANA with a live connection. The data in this dashboard is based on a global retailer. So if a manager wants to find out why is there this dip in sale every year in July, you can lasso the data points for July, and the two visualizations below will uh, filter based on that selection. To undo that selection, you can click off of that selection. And if you want to filter based on technology, we can click the technology. And both the cross tab and the line chart will update appropriately. If we want to drill down deeper into technology, we can filter based on technology again. And we can drill down into the subcategory group. If we want to find out what's going on with copiers, we can select copiers. Once again, both the cross tab and the line graph um, filter based on copiers. And then we can drill down deeper in a crop, um, into copiers and look at individual products within that. If you want to see um, this sales tab in a uh, larger version, you can click on the sales. And now you can um, see each individual product. Now to go back, we'll select dashboard one again. And to undo our, our filters, we'll hit reset. So within the cross tab, you can uh, filter based on year. And now 2014 is the only thing that's showing in the line graph as well as uh, this sales graph. To undo that, we can just click 2014 again. You can filter based on individual cells by clicking the cell. And now all that data is based on that specific um, date in January of 2014. Let's hit reset. So if you wanted all the raw data from 2014, you can grab this directly from this dashboard. You can select 2014. And then go to this view data option, which will pop up the raw data. And from this, uh, you can download this as a text file and open it in Excel if you want to. All right, we'll reset from that again. Then now we'll go to dashboard two. So in dashboard two, we have our map, um, box plot, and column chart. So in the map, we can zoom out um, and see the rest of the world. And the uh, size of each are based on sales, and the color is based on profit. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. So with this, uh, we can select any, any point, and the grass below will uh, update, as they did in the last dashboard. We can click off from that, and it'll um, remove the filter. Uh, we can click on one of our outliers and find out um, what exactly is going on from there. Once again, we can click out again, and it'll remove the filter. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with Texas. So we'll click Texas, and the grass below update, and let's go back to dashboard one. So now in dashboard one, um, each one of the visualizations is based on Texas, and you can see from the cross tab that profit's not doing too well in Texas. Let's go ahead and find out why. So as we can see here, that office supplies has the lowest amount of profit. So we'll filter uh, based on office supplies. Let's go ahead and filter on down and see what's going on. As we're looking here, we see binders is negative 14 and office supplies negative 7. Let's see what's going on with binders. So we'll select binders and filter based on that. And we'll drill down and see what's going on. We really don't have a good idea with this, what's going on, and see what uh, products are really doing that bad. So let's go ahead and look at it closer. So now we can see all the individual products uh, based, on, uh, based on binders and in Texas. And we can see exactly what's going on. And once again, we can lasso a whole bunch of data points. And from there, uh, we can pull up the raw data and see what's uh, what's going on with that. And export it if we need to, if we need to use it in Excel. So we'll X out of that and we'll go back to dashboard one and reset this. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more feature of this dashboard. And we'll go to dashboard two. Zoom in a little bit. And we will go to our rectangular selector. And let's take a look at the East Coast. Now the filter 
is based on the East Coast. And from here, we can take a look at our box plot if we want to. Our profit and shipping cost, and we can move back to Dashboard 1. And see the East Coast in our sales seasonality and cross tab. And from there, once again, we can drill down and find out what products are doing well and what products are not. Are not. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to us at Camaret Labs at Camaret.com.